Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make your own virtual locker. And we're going to focus on three questions. Firstly, how to prepare a Bitmoji. So in the sample, you're going to see that we're all going to use an avatar to represent ourselves in this virtual locker so that people, they, they know more about us, right? So this is this kind of avatar was generated from the website of Bitmoji and the app of Bitmoji. And then we're going to talk about how to insert different pictures into the slide because in the like in the background there's nothing there we have to like build up different items ourselves right last but not the least we're going to talk about how to clear the background of an image for example in this picture i have a kitten here but i actually only want to use the kitten like as an item in my uh, virtual locker. So how to remove the background and only like pop up the kitten itself. So firstly, how to prepare a Bitmoji. The first thing you need to do, of course, is go to Bitmoji's website. All you need to do is Bitmoji. And then you can directly go to the website. And then what you need to do is actually you need to use your phone or iPad to download the app of Bitmoji and just follow their instruction, it can connect your account with Snapchat. And after you have created your own Bitmoji, what you need to do is you need to download this one, Bitmoji for Chrome desktop. So after you down, actually this is a Chrome extension. The only thing you, because here I already download and insert in Chrome. That is the reason why it said that if I need to remove it or not, but for you, it should be like insert in the Chrome or not. So after you have like download this kind of extension, you should see this item here. So when you click it, you're going to sit, see different emoji of yourself. Of course, after you have already set your own avatar on your uh, iPhone or your other mobile phones or your iPad. So you can see I already like had some recent use Bitmoji of myself. Another thing you need to do is you just search posts. So you can see a lot of posts here. So I, I would like to use this one in like in front of my virtual locker. So what I need to do is I right click and then I click copy image. And then I go back to the locker and I just paste image so voila is here right but here right so this is how to pre prepare an emoji two things go to, web go to website and then you need to set the account and then you insert in the same website you insert the google extension and then you copy the image in your locker very easy right and then next, how to insert different pictures in the slide for example if you want to like share some like your favorite books for example I want to have some books, but pile of books. So I search for the image. So you can see here are some very good pictures, but one thing is it has a background, right? So how to download some picture without these background and use can be easily used as, as an item in your PowerPoint. For example, if I use this actually, when I put it here, you can see like the background is actually distracting the whole thing, right? It look really like abnormal here. So just one tip is here, color, you need to select transparent. So the background of the image should be transparent. For example, this one, right? So I can copy this and I can go back to my locker and then I can just insert these books, right? Maybe I, I don't have that much favorite books, so I can crop the picture. But of course, since this is a sharing, right? Sharing of your favorite books, what you can also do is to like put on the name of the books or put on the subjects that you like on the book, right? So how to do that? What you can do is, for example, here, you can insert one text box. So you insert a text box, it's a little small, so you can put it large or small. Like for example, this is like a history book. So you just put it at, an, at a, as a suitable size and put it in white, should you can like, 
can show the name in red color, right? So history here. So when you go back, actually it's very obvious that you did it, right? So now you can add names in the books to show like what are your favorite books, right? So this is the second one, how to insert different pictures in the slide. And more importantly, when you're searching for those pictures, maybe you will consider searching the pictures with transparent background, right? Last but not the least, how to clear the background. Maybe for, for some time it is your like private photo, or you can't really find the perfect one with a transparent background. So for example here, what I can do is actually there's a function in PowerPoint. Uh, you need to select the picture and there's a picture format. And then here, remove background. You just click remove background. And here you can see there are different color. That means actually you need to select which place you need to keep and which place you need to remove. For example, I want to keep the kitten, but for this background, I don't really need those. So I can just like select it. And also for here, I don't really need these. Just roughly select these areas. And for the mouth of the kitten, I need to keep it. Right? So I think this is perfect. So I keep the changes. Now I can actually use this kitten in my locker. So I put it. like on top of uh, my books, right? Something like this. So this is the last part, how to clear the background for an image on PowerPoint. Well, some people may say, actually, I don't have Chrome, right? Because when I, when I talk about this, uh, like Google extension, one thing you need to see that you have to use Chrome, but without Chrome, actually you can do the same thing with your app in your in your phone or with the app in your iPad or other mo like other mobile phone actually you can just directly save those pictures and airdrop or just save in this powerpoint but one thing is it will have a white background on it something like this so you can see this is not the perfect one compared to this one right so actually you can do the same thing because we already learned how to remove the background right so you just select it and remove the background and keep the changes even though it's not that perfect compares to this one but still it still serves the, the, like the same functions right so this is a little tip if you don't have chrome in your computer or you don't you you don't want to do that much kind of things you just want to download the app and do it quickly so if you have questions you can contact me and i think i will end here see you next time goodbye